Hello, my name is Todd Weber of Energy Balanced Nutrition Consulting. And today I wanted to show you how to use the Google Recipe search function in the Paprika Recipe Manager. Today's video is an update of the Paprika Recipe Manager video I made and posted last year. If you haven't watched that video yet, I would take a look as it provides you with some pretty good information. In the old version of the Paprika Recipe Manager, you had two ways of managing your recipes. You could either create a new recipe and type in the ingredients and directions of a recipe you have on hand, or you could click on the browser tab on the left hand side of the screen and then click on any one of the recipe links that pop up. For example, if you clicked on the Simply Recipes link on the previous page, the Simply Recipes website comes up within your Paprika Recipe Manager window. This was a fine feature that got you by, but it also limited your recipe searching to within that website. You could go back a page and click on another link to search within that window for a recipe, but the process was kind of a pain in the butt. Moving forward, I would completely ignore the individual links and only use the Google Recipe search function, and here's why. In the old version of the Paprika Recipe Manager, if you clicked on the browser link on the left hand side of the page, it would take you to recommended sites where there's a number of different links within which you can search. This was a little bit limiting, however, whereas the Google Recipe search function allows you to search for any food on any website. So if we go ahead and if we search for quinoa salad, let's see what comes up. The Google search window comes up within your Paprika Recipe Manager. And you can go through and you can scroll through. There's a ton of different recipes. What I like to do is to either search for images right here or to click on images up here. When we click on images, the images, the pictures of the different recipes come up. The pictures are worth a thousand words, right? versus the ingredients, they kind of give you an idea of what it is, but the pictures are far more important. And all of the different quinoa salad recipes in this case come up. Some of the, the links are familiar, such as all recipes, but other links aren't familiar. So you can search the entire internet. TheGardenGrazer.com, iFoodReal.com, or HipToSave.com are all links that wouldn't previously have come up in the old version of the recipe manager. Let's say that we click on this picture, because this happens to look pretty good. And this comes up within our window. And we scroll down, yeah, okay, this, yeah, this, this looks pretty good, right? Yeah, okay. So what we do is we'd say, okay, let's save this recipe. Uh-oh, error processing recipe, that's not good. Uh, however, it's just fine because as you can read, we're going to use the clipboard tools to save this recipe. And here's how we do this. We'll right click and highlight zesty cilantro lime quinoa salad. We go down to the clipboard and click on name. And if you noticed in the top right here, a, a brief pop-up comes up in which it says that was captured. And we could check this by saying, there we go, zesty cilantro lime quinoa salad captured. Okay, next, if we right click and we highlight, highlight the ingredients, we can come down, click on ingredients. Again, you can see it said, it told us that was captured. Awesome. So we'll continue to scroll down. Next thing we'll capture, we'll right click and highlight the directions. Come down here click on directions. Again, you see the same pop-up that says that that was captured. You can go ahead, if the recipe offers them, and do this individually for the remainder of these different clipboard notes, or we can just come over here and click create recipe. You can see recipe was created. Now, if we go back into our recipes, we see down here, zesty cilantro lime quinoa salad. Well, let's click on that. And boom, it's there. So that wasn't that much work, really. And now we have our recipe. And we can also, if we want to, we can go back to the browser. And 
one. No, I don't want that one. Where is that? There it is. And so now what we can do is we can right click and we can save the image to our desktop. And we can give it a name. Okay. I save that. And then if we go back to recipes, I can say I want to edit this recipe because I want a picture. And I go to change image. And then you can see I just saved this as quinoa salad. The image comes up. We go back to save. And voila, there we go. Our picture is there. If we go back to recipes, now again we can look at what this happens to look like. Not all recipes will require you to use the clipboard to import your recipes. Some are far easier than this. If we go back to browser and we go back to the Google search or the Google image search, some of the recipes such as allrecipes.com we have links for. So if we click on allrecipes.com and if we click save recipe it pops up. It immediately populates for us. So we don't have to use the clipboard. If we click save, the recipe was saved. We go back actually to our recipes and we can see zesty quinoa salad was saved from allrecipes.com. How easy is that? I just love this feature. Again, this is Todd Weber from Energy Balanced Nutrition Consulting, and thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that it helps you out as much as it helps me out, because believe me, it does. Uh, please follow me on social media uh, for more health and wellness tips. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.